Alright guys, I'm John Brown! I'm in a really weird mood, if you couldn't tell. So this is gonna be a weird episode, okay? I'm just gonna say this is gonna be a weird, weird episode. I'm recording this, like, right after episode 10, and I am just... I don't even know where my mind is. Ah. So I'm just gonna walk around and have a, just, just a time. I'm just gonna have a time. It's gonna. It's not even gonna be a jolly good time. It's not gonna be a jolly bad time. It's gonna be a time, and I'm gonna kill these pigs. Oh, but I'm scared of pigs. Scared pigs are carry. Pigs are carry. Pigs are Jim Carrey indeed. Jim Carrey the pig. That's why they have flexible faces. Can't you just picture going up to a pig and just like flexing its face by just like just pinching its cheeks and just moving them around everywhere? Yeah, I can do that. I would totally do that to a pig, and it would probably get really mad, and then it would kill me. And I guess that's why all these pigs are angry at me. Wouldn't that make sense to just have all these pigs be angry at me because I pinched all their cheeks? Maybe it's like some age-old, uh, age-old, like, fights between various dynasties of pigs, and they're like, Your ancestors and their ancestors and their ancestors pinched my cheeks, and that's why I'm gonna kill you, and that's why they have swords and... Uh, swords and shields. I just burped, by the way. I need to stop burping every episode. That sucks. <sighs> Oh, okay, so let's just go over here and kill this pig, because this pig has a sweater on. <laughs> He's a fun... Holy crap, there's a ghost behind me. He's been following me this whole time, I guess. Hello, little ghost. You have bear ears. Why do we have bear ears here? I have no idea, Mr. Sir. Or maybe it's a ma'am. I don't know. I can't judge the genders of dead things, especially when they are ghosts. Ah, uh, but this looks like a very grisly bear ghost. Very grizzly bear ghost indeed. He is not Bear Grylls though, thankfully, because we would be dead if he was Bear Grylls. Because Bear Grylls does not provide any interesting, or definitely interesting, but definitely not useful tips about surviving in the wild. And this is the wild. This is the wild with all the wild boars and their sweaters and their modern day time stuff. So, hey kids, by the way, there's a ghost behind me. I don't know if you could tell, but there's a ghost behind me. But whatever, we're just gonna walk around and be normal and have a good time. Or, sorry, just have a time. <sighs> yeah, we're bringing this ghost to his house. He doesn't really tell us for a long time. If, this, if you have this ghost follow you around for an extremely long time, eventually he will say, uh, take me to my home by the sea. Uh... But you really do have to wait a while for him to tell you that. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to his house, because his house is just right over this way. Just right over this way, and this is his house. And by the way, this part is actually kind of sad. Here, enter my house. Yep, we're entering his house. And the music here. Oh, the music here, whenever we enter this house. It's, it's the Mae Village theme, except slowed down. And for some reason, it makes it really sad sounding. He's just observing his house. Seeing all the old memories of this house that really looks just like every other house in the universe, but it, it's his house. Nostalgia unchanged. Boo. That either says boohoo or boo boo. I think it says boohoo, but I can't tell because Link is in the way, stupid Luigi. You're ruining this lovely scene. Enough. Cemetery. Take me. My grave. Okay, now this. Well, first I want to talk about how sad that scene is before I go off into a tangent on something else, but... Yeah, it makes a little nightmare sound. do 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 Kind of makes me think of that, uh... The... Whenever whenever Proton John was playing through Kaizo Mario, that stage where it goes... do 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 At the beginning, because there's, uh... Because there's only 100 seconds on the timer. And he says it's, it's his nightmare sound. Or his nightmare noise or something. That, that That's what ma that makes me think of. Because you hear this noise on every single screen. But, yeah. I said I was not going to go on a tangent on something else, but... Yeah, th that scene is just sad to me. Because whenever he talks about nostalgia unchanged, and how he's looking at his old house, that he, uh... Or that this ghost... You know, he... he, he um... Whenever, he, whenever he's talking about Nostalgia Unchanged, he's a dead ghost. He is a dead person who was once alive. He was once a physical person with a whole lot of memories, and he, he lived in that house. And there were things that he did in that house, and he had, like, probably a family. He probably had a family, and uh, he had a whole lot of memories, and he had a childhood in that house. 
And you can just picture being, like, old and wrinkly and gray and all that stuff, and elderly and infirm, as Carl Fredrickson would say. Uh, just... You can just picture being old and being, you know, at, at the, uh, at the end of your years, basically, and just looking back at all your early years and all your early memories and seeing just what wonderful times you had by looking at memories long past, and that's just... It's just, yeah, it's just not, I just don't want to think about it. I just don't want to think about it anymore. Uh, it's too depressing. It's too depressing, therefore I must kill Qbert. Kill Qbert, because he is the least used key in all of the keyboard. Okay, so, where are we going? We have to go, oh no, we have to go up. We have to go up. These are parts of the map that we have not yet explored, even though we probably have, but I just haven't remembered it because I suck. My memory is a bag of rats. Uh, by the way, the, this this bridge here, the sides of this bridge look like Pop-Tarts. These totally look like really long Pop-Tarts. I noticed that before. Oh, where are we going? I don't know where we're going. Can we jump off the bridge? We can jump off the bridge, and we can dive, and we can do fun stuff. Except we can't do fun stuff, because we are not allowed to do fun stuff. Fun stuff, fun stuff, fun stuff, ba da ba da ba Hmm, this ghost. This ghost with his bare ears, he's like, it's like he's cosplaying, even after death. Uh, I guess better to be a ghost than a zombie, because at least as a ghost you can haunt elves for their entire lives, like this guy's trying to do. And as a zombie you can just eat people's brains, and that's just, you know, I mean that's just not that fun, because you can't float around everywhere. How cool would it be to be a ghost and just float around all over the place? Okay, I'm closer to where I'm supposed to be, I believe. Let's go down here. Let's go down here. I sound really strange whenever I cover up my nose. Go. Go to the cemetery. Down here. Cemetery! I'm making strange voices. And you know what? I'm betting that with all these strange voices that I'm making, this is going to be really weird on the closed caption YouTube thing. Like, whenever you look at the closed caption stuff on YouTube, whenever it, it tries to transcribe the audio, that's probably going to sound really... or that's that's going to bring up a lot of weird stuff with my commentary, I'm sure. Because I'm talking like this all the time! Okay, so we're in this little place. Ah, I'm dead. You you drive me batty, you silly bat. Uh, we're going to use the rock's feather. We're not going to break that rock, we're just going to use the rock's feather. And go over here. And wouldn't you know it, you know this ghost, he told us that he wanted us to go to the cemetery to his grave, but as it turns out, his grave is the only one that's not in the cemetery, and like the entire game, it's right here. So he just goes into his grave, thank you, a jar, in my home, look inside, bye bye. Yeah, he was really eager to just, you know, bury himself in the ground for the rest of eternity, but I don't know, whatever you, whatever you want, Mr. Ghosty Ghost Boo, sir. Boo to you. It has been some time since our paths crossed, lad. Oh, it hasn't been long enough, Mr. Owl. You must dive into the waters of Martha's Bay to enter the catfish's maw. The closer you get to the windfish, the more... I'm sorry, I need to swallow because there's, like, water all inside my mouth. Carry onward, Hoot. Carry onward. And for forthward and forward and... Do words and coo words and loo words and boo words and glue words and new words and do words and coo words and custard. Custard and frozen yogurt. Yeah, I told you this was gonna be a weird episode. I warned you, didn't I? I warned you. <laughs> I'm selling the goos. Go back to the goo. <sighs> okay, you got a piece of power. Oh, I'm so weird. I'm weird today. This is like, this is how I would act if I wasn't even recording anything. I'm just... I'm acting strange. I'm acting strange. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're going to Martha's Bay, which means that we're probably going to go over here. Down here. Down, 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 to the little down, down, down. And to the left, to the right, I mean. This is the right direction, not the left direction. This is the right direction, therefore it is not the wrong direction. We are going the right way. 
is what I'm trying to say very simply. We are going east. Let's just go with that east. I say east in a different language. Not a different language, a different voice and everything. Oh, we need to jump over this gap because we suck. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, what does this phone call thing have to say over here? Bring, bring, hi, it's all river. Right the catfish's mouth is wide open. It looks like a great place to dive. Bye, click. Uh, yeah, it does look like a great place to dive indeed, wherever it is. I've never seen it before in my entire life. Uh, okay, where, where do we go? We go here. No, we don't. We just died. But we like to die. Maybe we can be that ghost. We can be another one of those ghosts, like that ghost that we just sent to his house and to his grave and such. And we can just accompany him next to his grave. We can just go into the same grave as him and have a really creepy apparition something, something, something. Okay, what's in here? What's in the... Oh, this is nice, huh? I'm just gonna use this magic powder over here that I have right here because I can use my magic powder and reach us. Oh, it's Navi! Yay, it's Navi! I like Navi and oh crap, no, it's a devil. I knew Navi was the devil all along. Hey, kid, you woke me up from a fine nap. Thanks a lot, but now I'll get my revenge. Are you ready? Yes. I'll let you carry more magic powder. Hey, hey, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Oh, oh no, oh no, we're dead. We're totally dead. Hey, 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 you deserve it. Now look at all that junk you have to carry. Ha, take care. See you again. Well, I know that I carry my junk all the time. I have the best junk. Everyone admires my junk. Okay, let's do that again. Nope, let's not do that again, actually. Well, that's too bad, but... Well, we have more magic powder now, and we can just burn enemies at will. We can just burn every enemy that we see, including this guy, I believe, right? Oh, what the heck just... What? Hey, Mon. You know me. I like short names the best. What? Oh, that looks so suggestive. Oh, crap. That was the weird. <laughs> oh, I did not. I did not know that. I did not know that even happened. Oh, that is so weird. <sighs> Whatever I said, this was a weird episode. I didn't even know how weird it was until I started it. <laughs> okay, let's so let's just stop being weird for once. <clears throat> I'm sophisticated. Ugh. Okay, let's just go down here and avoid the mushroom. Let's just avoid the mushroom and have a good time going over to the mermaid, because I like sexing up mermaids. I mean, uh, this is the catfish's maw, because the maw, like maw means mouth, and we just dive here. I would have never figured this out. Like, never in a bajillion years would I have figured this out. Like, ever. Ever. Also, I think that Link kind of looks like... I don't know, what, you, you picture Link looking like he has a tunic in most games, but this doesn't look like a tunic. He looks like he has a nightgown on, which is kind of ironic because in Wind Waker, you went from having pajamas on to having your green tunic on. And in this game, it's like your green tunic is your pajamas. So, whatever, we're in Dungeon 5 already. Catfish is maw. We probably shouldn't be here. We should do some side quests or something first, but let's just go in here next, I guess. Yay! I just clapped really loudly. So let's just... <laughs> oh... What is wrong with me? See you next time. Thank you for watching, everyone.